Maxi, I guess you're a huge Pokemon fan. Of course. You need to tell me the story behind this post. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I always used to have pet <laughs> tortoises and turtles. And I was going to a Halloween party in college and I felt bad if I didn't bring... No way. I didn't bring my turtle, so I <laughs> dressed him up as Blastoise. So, a turtle as a pet. Yeah. Is it like, is it a normal thing for you or is it like a normal thing back I, in I would, America? <laughs> it's, not, it's not that normal. All right. I do, I do have a couple friends that have turtles, but I would just catch the turtles. I was fishing a lot and I would catch turtles and tortoises and sometimes just keep them for a little bit because I always have like fish tags. But this guy would just walk around my apartment and yeah, he was cool. I had him for a, <laughs> for a year in college, yeah. He and was then? dope. And then I let him go. <laughs> to where? Where I found him. I found I found him in the craziest place, like <laughs> by train tracks. So I, that's why I picked him up because I didn't want him getting hit by a train. Oh. And I just put him back near, like in the woods somewhere near near where I found him. So but this one like, was a tortoise. Did you buy a cage for him or is he like, was he just wandering around your whole apartment? He was wandering around mostly my room, but yeah, my whole apartment. Where did you find bit. him mostly? Under the bed or yeah, he did would, he had a special place? No, nah, he would always try to go under the bed, but like <laughs> sometimes I had like a, a, like a little cage or not cage, like an aquarium for him, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't put him in there. And then in the middle of the night, I could hear him like scratching on the floor, like trying to move, but it's stuck somewhere. And that would wake me up and I would like spend 10 minutes half asleep, like trying to find him so I can put him somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I kid you not, I always wanted to have a turtle as a pet when I was a child. And I was <laughs> like, yeah, really, I, I was asking my parents every week. So what is it like to have a turtle as a pet? Is it cool? Should I like get one? <laughs> it's cool. I mean, they're very interesting. I caught, I caught when I, the same year when I was in college, I took, I caught two like little ones and I gave them to the people that were living above me and they still have them and every once in a while I'll get like an Instagram message. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, and they're like this big now. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so. That's so cool. Yeah. All I'm right, big, the next post. Big I fan of turtles. I like turtles. Yeah, me too, <laughs> me too, for sure. You, you, do you know that video or no? The I like turtles kid? I don't know, no. Nah. You look it up later, it's, I it's will. a good one. Yeah. I will. I like turtles. All right, next post. You definitely need to tell me the story behind it. What's on your head? Oh, well. <laughs> and I also yeah. love the hashtags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the hashtags are accurate. Um, this is back in the day in America, 4th of July. There's always a parade and you know, my mom would decorate our bicycles and stuff and in red, white, and blue. And it just so happened that I had a <laughs> decorations on my head that looked, <laughs> yeah, that didn't look how they should have looked. And now that I'm looking at this now, like what was my mom thinking <laughs> doing that for me? But oh. either way, you know, 4th of July, you get away with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this was my favorite moment for today, so. This one? Yeah, this one. Oh, man. I was looking so so forward to like <laughs> show it to you because I really needed to know the story behind it. Yeah, so well, you told you so me much. before this I shouldn't be nervous. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm nervous for the rest of this because. No, that's oh, it. Man. That's it. Basically. Okay. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. Yeah.